Hello everyone, welcome to 3designacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the line arc tool within the keypoint curve toolbox. So the tool is located under curves, keypoint toolbox, and it's located right here. So what this does is it creates a line and an arc. So let me show you guys how to do this. So let's say you want to create an, an, a line and an arc. All you have to do is just, well, you can snap it or you can just drag it like this. And all you have to do is just click on another point on the modeling window. And that's what the tool does. Now, depending on the situation and the use case, you can um, use this tool to create a series of shapes. So let's say I want to create sort of like a fan shape. Let me just delete this first. So what you can do is, uh, and I'm just going to delete the guidelines, go to line arc tool. I'm just going to snap it over here like this. I'm going to drag it up using my right mouse button and I can just create an arc. Now you can also snap this too. So if you use an alt to grid snap it, you can do that. And I can just drag it down again, grid snap. I can do something like this. And let me just do a few more like that. Now that's one use case. And let me just show you guys uh, how this line arc tool works. So let me just uh, delete the guidelines first. So what it does is depending on the situation, what you have to do is just uh, drag the first curve and it'll create an arc. Now depend, uh, so it'll just create an arc like this. And the next point is uh, free to run on its own like this. And you can create an arc, which is, uh, so it is tangent over here from here to here, but the next line is going to be free. Uh, one of the benefits of using this uh, tool is that if you go to information window, you can always change uh, all the, the attributes. So let's say you want the radius to be a little bit bigger. So instead of 310, maybe you want a 350, it's going to change. Now that does break the tangency. So depending on the situation, it might not be okay. But you can uh, always play around with all the numbers over here. So let's say I want to make this 500 and it'll adjust by itself like that. Okay, so that's the line arc tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.